NF TV Extra. Let's talk about Newcastle United being taken over by, in effect, the Saudi Arabian state. Well, um, angry clubs have obviously targeted the Premier League with complaints. Well, they would. About the Newcastle United takeover, they're pushing for an emergency meeting next week. I mean, what would the, what, how could you possibly have a leg to stand on? What, I mean, what are they going to be complaining about? I actually, I don't know. I mean, a lot of clubs are owned by... Let's say big money talk, shall we? And it doesn't really matter where that money comes from, ultimately, does it? It's just big money. Get the big players in and you're going to get success. The fans are going to love it. So what possible complaints could they have? Would it be centred around the fit and proper test of who should own a big business in this country? So 19 other top flight clubs, they're understood to be united in opposition to a Saudi-led consortium being allowed to buy out Mike Ashley. They're demanding to know what changed for it to be waved through and why they received so little notice and why in three or four years time when Newcastle are close to the top of the league why their payments have gone down because they've been leapfrogged so it's sour grapes probably uh, what do you think about that takeover uh, Carl Hall is uh, with me he's a presenter on the Newcastle fan TV YouTube channel hello Carl morning good morning Andrew yeah. are you loving it or what um, I, I mean Elation was, was certainly a, a first emotion that, that I had, um, but I do completely understand people's um, stance on, on, on the human rights issues. And there's always going to be a crisis of conscience when, when this sort of takeover has come to fruition. Yeah, but, but not so much of a crisis of confidence for fans, understandably, who just want to see better players and success at a big and, in fact, great club. I absolutely agree. I, I think um, Newcastle United fans have been so downtrodden by the previous regime uh, in terms of Mike Ashley's ownership. We felt that the, the soul was kind of taken from the club and that essentially we weren't able to even speak about the club without being ridicule, ridiculed by the club, if that makes sense. Um, we were when, when Mike Ashley first took over the club, we expected um, some sort of um, progression in terms of commercial value. Uh, that that didn't happen, um, and and I think Newcastle fans are very very relieved and happy to essentially have their club back. Um, but I do think there will be a, a conversation, and and as I said, a crisis of conscience with with regards to who's taken over the club once it does finally settles. Jamal Khashoggi, uh, a critic of the Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman, who is in charge of the Sovereign Wealth Fund and the nation. He was last seen entering the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October 2018. His body's never been found. A U.S. intelligence report said the prince had approved the operation to kill or capture Khashoggi. This is the lot in charge of your club now. It's uh, it, it's it's a very difficult pill to swallow at times. I, I, I will uh, I'll, I'll be completely honest about that, and I, I think there'll be a lot of fans who probably haven't spoken out freely about that um, that that particular matter as of yet. But I believe they will do it. Uh, Mind you, see it, the World Cup, Carl. The World Cup's in Qatar, which exactly. is not exactly a bastion of human rights, is it? <laughs> I mean, I don't, know you, I don't know whether you've been to Qatar, but I have. It's a joke. So, I mean, you know, did I stop going there? I went there for a work job. Well, this, this is it. And, this and you know, the, the, the PIF that, that uh, will be funding Newcastle United, that they have significant investments in companies like Starbucks, Boeing. People don't stop using these companies because of what's going on in Saudi Arabia. And it's very much the same with Abu Dhabi and Manchester City. The only thing that we can hope for is that this is uh, a potential step to change. And, um, you know, we, we have LGBTQ um, plus communities for Newcastle United that were obviously very sceptical about the, the takeover initially, um, but have come out and made statements. And, and the very fact that they are working with the likes of Amanda Stavely, you would like to think is, is a step well, in the right direction. Yes. Well, we'll see. Carl, it's good speaking with you. And, and, uh, and, and very frankly, about that takeover, all the best to you. Have a great weekend. Who are you playing this weekend? Uh, it's Tottenham Park Square next week. Oh, OK. All right. Good. Enjoy yourself.